arguing with liberals. Anybody who's argued with a liberal has probably had a similar experience. You've probably walked away frustrated and confused. Recently, during a discussion I was having with a liberal friend, I had an epiphany. And I want to share that with you today so that you can better understand the way liberals think and therefore understand their arguments a little bit better. The conversation went something like this. We both agreed that there was a problem with affordable housing in America. Being a free market proponent, I said that the market would sort itself out if it was allowed to work. He opted for the classic American liberal stance that the government should interfere, namely he advocated rent control. And I pointed out that rent control has been tried and it doesn't work. And this is not my opinion, this is a fact. I won't go into the details on rent control. But he continued to argue that rent control was the way to go and I, again, said, you know, it, it doesn't work. It's been proven not to work. And this is where the conversation will get familiar for many of you. First of all, his vocabulary went from everyday conversation to, you know, English professor status. He started spitting out, you know, the normal canned liberal dogma. And uh, third, he got very angry. And, you know, I got the normal, you're greedy and you don't care about people and, uh, you know, the, the normal average personal attacks that come with having a discussion with a liberal. And why he was attacking me personally, I was trying to figure out in my head why he was attacking me personally. I had simply pointed out a fact that rent control doesn't work. It would be like me pointing out that 2 plus 2 is 4 and not 5 and being called greedy for it. I was just stating the obvious. But he seemed to take it personally and that's when it occurred to me and I had my epiphany that he did take it personally. Somehow saying rent control doesn't work was taken as a personal attack on him. And that is when I figured out where the enormous communication gap occurs between regular people and liberals. And here it is. The problem I had was I believed that his goal was to obtain affordable housing for people and that his means was rent control. And that's where the frustration sets in. If his goal was to get affordable housing, why would he continue to advocate for a means that didn't, doesn't achieve those goals? And that's when it occurred to me that his goal was not affordable housing for people. What his real goal was, was to establish his moral superiority. And his means was to advocate a, uh, a program that he felt would relieve him of any immoral faults, such as greed or apathy. And so by saying rent control doesn't work, to him what I was really doing was attacking his stance as morally superior. So that is why you end up frustrated when you argue with liberals. Because their means to achieve their stated goals make no sense because their stated goals are not their actual goals. Finally, I read a quote from George Orwell that put in perspective for me the almost predictable routine that liberals go through during an argument. You know, when you point out the obvious problem with their argument and all of a sudden they start spitting out every five-syllable word they can think of, they start spat spouting off tired leftist mantras and finally end with complete indignation. Now, here's the quote. Now, here's a recent example. Yesterday, our president announced that he would not allow the Keystone Pipeline to go forward. When asked about the jobs that it would create, he answered that instead he would support a payroll tax cut and extension for unemployment benefits for the unemployed. Now, let's forget that this is a false dichotomy. We don't have to choose between one or the other. We could have both or neither. But the point here is that the president actually said that he will create more jobs by giving the unemployed more unemployment benefits than he would if he actually gave them jobs. Now, this is where my frustration with any liberal would come in because that makes absolutely no sense if I were to take on face value that his goal was to create jobs. But now that I've had my epiphany, I realize that his goal is not to create jobs. I'll leave it to you to, to speculate what his goals might be. Now, in all fairness, I have to say 
that this concept doesn't necessarily apply only to liberals. And uh, in fact, especially uh, those who use uh, religion for, for self-aggrandizement, that's, you know, it, it applies just as much to them. And it applies probably to every politician. My, my goal with this video was more to explain to the ordinary American the communication gap between them and an ordinary everyday liberal. Thanks. Ciao.